Hi, I'm Ruth, I'm Ruth Westerby, and today I'm going to break down Surya Namaskar A, so the first sun salutation of the Ashtanga system, which is also used in lots of other uh, forms of yoga. So I'll demonstrate one, and then I'm going to build it up in stages, as you might if you were starting a practice. So this is how Surya Namaskar A might look after you'd practiced for a while. And you hold this bit for five breaths. After your five breaths. So to break that into stages, you'd, um, you change things like this. So. Each part of the sun salutation goes with one breath, but you may need to take more breaths if you find that otherwise you're holding your breath. So on an inhale, you reach up. Exhale, you fold forwards, but you may need to bend your knees to bring your hands onto your legs or fingertips onto the floor. At the end of the exhale, you tuck your head in. Inhale, head up, look forwards, and then perhaps you step back, and you might come via a high plank, a straight line from the heels to the shoulders, bending your elbows and slowly lower completely flat onto the floor. You could then move your hands back to beside your rib cage, flatten the tops of your feet to the floor, press the top of the feet to the floor in order to tone through the front thighs, in order to engage the backs of your legs. You're trying to pull your sit bones back towards your heels to get firm in the lower body. You ground the base of the thumb and the knuckle of the first finger. On an inhale, draw your heart forward through your arms, rolling your shoulders back a little, and on an exhale, press through the inner edges of the hands, the knuckle of the first finger, tuck your toes under and reach your sit bones up and back. You might need to walk your feet in a little bit. So your hands are shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Your feet are hip width apart or even sit bone distance apart. You ground through the base of the thumb, through the knuckle of the first finger. You're reaching in um, you're spiraling in towards the inner edges of the hands as you roll the shoulder girdle out and round. Your sit bones reach up and back because you're engaging all the parts of your legs. To so come out of the posture, you get to the end of an exhale, bend your knees and look forwards. Step or hop your feet forwards, straight legs. Inhale, lift your heart and exhale, folding down the sit bones going up towards the ceiling. Inhale, stand up reaching your arms. You could take your head behind your arms and look down your nose towards your thumbs and exhale. Samasthiti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, straight arms, head up, look forwards. So if you wanted to jump it, you'd step or hop your feet back. And then instead of coming all the way flat, like we did before, you could bend your elbows a bit, put your knees down onto the floor, then flatten the tops of the feet to the floor. On an inhale, pull your heart through your arms, taking your knees off the floor, grounding the inner edges of the hands, rolling your shoulders back. Exhale, step or roll over the toes into your downwards facing dog. Again, you reach through the inner hands. You broaden across the balls of your feet. You wrap your shoulders out and round. You're reaching your arms into the sides of your rib cage, into the small of your back. And you're wrapping all the muscles of your legs up around the bones of your legs to draw the sit bones higher and brighter. After five breaths, you exhale fully to empty to set the pelvic floor. Then you bend the knees and look forward. Step or hop forwards. Inhale, head up. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, come all the way up, dropping down through your heels, shortening the backs of the legs to pull the sit bones into the ground, and exhale, samastitihi. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up, look forwards. Exhale, step or hop. So you could, from a high plank, lower straight into chatwari, hovering off the floor. Then inhale, roll over the toes into your upward facing dog, and exhale, rolling over the toes to your down dog, 
Again, five breaths here. So it can be a bit tricky to roll over the toes. It can look a bit awkward and people are not sure how you come into this action with the feet. So you can practice it in your down dog. You can roll over one foot and roll over the other foot. And then you do it via your plank, which is putting some weight onto the feet. And some people will always prefer to step over their toes rather than rolling. Your gaze point is probably between your knees or your thighs. Eventually it might be the belly button, but that tends to make people collapse the shoulders, so it'd be better to have it in between the legs. Exhaling fully, bend your knees, look forward, step, walk your feet towards your hands, inhale, head up. Exhale, fold in. Inhaling, stand up, reaching up, and exhale, samastiti. So it may take a while to work through those stages. You're looking to develop, develop the strength in the legs and the lower belly so that you can hold yourself off the floor without collapsing the shoulders forwards. So that's why either coming flat to the floor or having your knees on the floor can really help to set the shoulders in that open position. So lots of practice, little and often, gradually, gradually build it up.